I'm Yukito Fuji. I'm an ordinary high school student who isn't in any of the school clubs. I usually go straight home when the school is over, but there was a school festival coming up. I couldn't go straight home because I had to help my friend Haruki in his band. Haruki was in the band club. To be honest, I wanted to be home as soon as possible so I could work on something. Hey, Yukito-kun, can you help me run the executive community for the school festival? Arisa Yamaoka, my classmate, came up to me and asked. She's both beautiful and smart. It was natural for her to become the member of the executive committee because she's kind of the girl who's always in the center of attention. But I'm different. I'm usually in the shadow. Why did she ask me then? I thought, so I asked her. Why me? I think those outgoing ones are better suited for the job. They're all busy because of the clubs and cram schools. On the other hand, you're not part of any club. You have time, don't you? I don't. I have to help the band club. That reminds me. You always reject me whenever I invite you to the band club. Why do you always go straight home? Huh? Well... Yeah, you say you're busy, but for what? Ah, uh, well, I'm seeing my girlfriend. She's my childhood friend. I didn't have a girlfriend, but I couldn't think of a better excuse for going home early every day. A girlfriend? Oh, I didn't know you had a girlfriend, Yukito-kun. Well, well, yeah, she's a bit clingy, so she cries, saying that she wants to be with me all the time. Ha 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 I said it. It felt so vacant to lie like that. Can't she hold herself back for a little while? Until the school festival is over? Or is she so restricting that she doesn't allow that? Ah, uh, well... She's not that restricting. I think... Then you're in. I'm counting on you. Well, I failed. I couldn't use my fake girlfriend as an excuse to go home early. Just like that, I was forced to become member of the executive committee for the school festival. I was so gutted that I couldn't work on my project at home. Being an executive committee was much harder than I expected. We had meetings, we had designated jobs, and we had to lead the class programs. I was with Yamoka-san all the time, so we talked a lot. We usually talked about the school festival and about my fake girlfriend. Yamaka-san kept asking me about her. I guess girls love these kind of stories. I had to make up a fake story about a fake girlfriend every time Yamoka-san asked me about her. Is your girlfriend not happy about the fact that you can't go home early these days? Yeah, she's like... Why are you so late all the time? We don't see each other much anymore. I feel like I'm stealing you from her. I guess she's gonna be super mad at me when she knows about this. I think she'll understand. We're together just because we're in the same committee. Really? I'd be super jealous. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen. They could be getting closer like this. Yamaka-san said and tangled her arm around mine like she was hugging it. Hey! What are you doing? You scared me. <laughs> a boy and a girl by themselves in an empty classroom after school. You never know what's gonna happen. Yamaka-san smiled like a mischievous child and pushed her boots against me. She was definitely doing this on purpose. She's laughing at me inside, looking at me, panicking. I participated in the band club practice when I wasn't working for the committee. That day, the band was practicing at school. They sometimes practice in the studio outside of school. Yukito-kun, you're not in any of the school clubs, right? Are you sure you can play the instruments? As I was getting ready for practice, Rena Kawasaki came up to me. She was in a different band in the band club. I'm only helping them out during the school festival. I'm playing keyboard because I can only play piano though. Yukito helps us a lot! I think the backing tracks sound way better with a keyboard. Hmm, I guess you're right. But our band is much better than a band that needs a ship helper who doesn't come to practice. Ha 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 I might be a shit helper. 
But don't be harsh on other members like that, Haruki. I know. I'm just worried that you're gonna hold them back. I never understood why she was so harsh to me. Whenever I came to the band club, she always picked a fight with me. She probably didn't like me because I rarely came to practice in the band. What song are you guys playing at the festival? This, Snow's song. I love him so much. Who's that? Jeez, you don't know him? He's a singer on the internet. He live streams on an app and no one knows his identity or his face. Renaissance showed me an app on her smartphone, a page of the streamer that I knew well was on the screen. Really? His voice and his lyrics are so good. I listen to his songs every day, but he rarely streams these days. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's busy in real life. It's so sad that he doesn't stream as often as he used to. I think he'll be back streaming very soon. I don't need you to tell me that. I believe in him. After all those busy days, it was finally the day of the school festival. When I got to the band club, before they were playing as the committee member and the performer, I saw Reina-chan crying. Apparently, the vocal of their band caught a cold and couldn't come. She knew she couldn't do anything about it, but she was crying because she had practiced so hard. Haruki-kun, can't you sing for them? No, I can't do it on the spot. I barely know the song too. Is there anyone else who can sing well? That reminds me, Yukito, you're good at singing in harmony. You know this song as well, right? Whoa, I do, but... I don't really want to sing in front of everyone, on the spot. If you can sing the song, then please, I don't want to give up. Please, Yukito-kun, you're the committee member too. You have to help people when they are in trouble. Okay, I'll sing. After I finished playing for Haruki's band, I went out again singing for Reina-san's band. I knew the song, but it was the first time for me to sing in front of many people. I was very nervous. I was so desperate that I didn't remember anything from the performance after we finished. But it seemed like everyone enjoyed it because they clapped and cheered for us afterwards. That was amazing, Yukito-kun. I didn't know you were so good at singing. Everyone loved it. Thank you so much. The band enjoyed it too. Snow is much better, but you are still really good. I felt like I was going to fall in love with you. Hmm? Was he that good? I mean, he sounded good because his impersonation was on point. Yukito stole the spotlight from me. He's surrounded by girls now. That's really annoying. A lot had happened, but the school festival was now over. We were tidying up the mess the next day. But Renaissance was looking at her smartphone like she had completely burned out. I was also looking at my smartphone while Yamaka-san was scolding everyone to work. Renaissance was looking at her smartphone, looking all happy. Snow recently announced that he might be able to start streaming again. That was when Haruki came up to me. He seemed like he was angry. Hey, about your yesterday's performance. You cheated, didn't you? Huh? Why? I compared the recording from yesterday to Snow Songs. Your impersonation is too spot on. I don't think you could imitate someone like that. You played the song in the background and you lip synced to it, didn't you? Uh, well, I actually worked really hard to do an impression of him. That's why I was able to sing it on the spot. You went out to be alone, saying that you're going to warm up. You could have told the sound guy to play the song. He wouldn't do that. But now that I listen to Snow's song, they're too alike. Because I was slurring, Haruki came up to me as if he was ready to grab me by my chest. I dropped my smartphone on the floor. You should apologize. If you did cheat, it betrayed Reina's band. Why am I being accused of cheating when I only helped them perform? Huh? Yukito-kun, this smartphone screen, wait, what? Reina-san froze as she saw my smartphone screen. Shit, 
the page I was on before. I dropped it. It was... You're joking me! It's not a recording! Yukito-kun is snow! Reina was so excited! She came up to me and took my hands, looking into my eyes. I had logged into Snow's account on my smartphone. I was about to announce that I'd be back streaming again soon. I knew I couldn't lie anymore. Yeah! I wasn't expecting to meet Snow here. He was in the same school. I performed with him. I listened to him play live. And he sang for me. No way, no way. I'm over the moon. Rina chan ca calm down. What's going on? Yukito-kun is snow. See, this screen proves everything. reina san showed my smartphone screen to Yumako-san and Haruki. What? I didn't think that you were him. I'm sorry that I accused you of cheating like that. I see. There is no chance for me anyways. So you always went home early to do live streams? Ha <laughs> I guess I can't hide it anymore. I lied about the girlfriend too. I only went home early to record songs and mix them. Keep this a secret from everyone else, okay? Huh? You didn't have a girlfriend? Yamako-san's face lit up as well. But I didn't understand why. Since then, Yamako-san and Reina-san were both so affectionate to me. Reina-san wasn't as harsh as she used to be since the school festival. But she was a different person now. You didn't have a girlfriend, so I don't have any reason to hesitate anymore. Hey, don't get closer to him like that. I don't want to share Yukito-kun with anyone else. Ah, please call me by my first name too. Ah, Lisa. Hey, are you listening to me? He's mine. They kept on doing that well while we were at school. And Haruki was staring at me all the time. My name is Takayuki Ueda. I'm a university student. At our school, it is customary to join a research lab in your third year. So I was excited to start the archaeology lab that I had dreamed of joining for so long. Whoa! How'd you manage to get into the lab? There are only female students there, and it's rumored that you need to be pretty to join too. Really? I had no idea. You didn't look up any reviews beforehand? I was only interested in the professor there, so... Well, from what I've heard, the assistant professor that pretty much runs the lab only accepts good-looking girls to the lab. Lucky you, going to be surrounded by all these beautiful ladies. Well, wouldn't it just be awkward with no other guys around? Well, that's true too. I've heard that that assistant professor doesn't take nicely to male students. Let's hope you get your credits okay. On the first day at the lab, I was in fact the only guy there. On top of that, everyone there was either really cute or pretty. And the girls that only good-looking girls get accepted seems to be true. The lab students were surprised to see me there. And the assistant professor that had supposedly selected me was also looking surprised, checking the name list over and over again. The students there were whispering amongst themselves and did not look welcoming in the least. Anyway, we split up according to our research topics and started off with a self-introduction. I'm Yuko Watanabe, a senior here. Takayuki, I see you made it to this lab. Honestly, I didn't think you would. <laughs> nice to see you. I already know Yuka from the school club. She was the one that told me that it was going to be tough to get into the archaeology lab. But I had no idea she was saying so because of my gender. I'm Shiori Nakamura, a junior. Um, I'm in the same year as you, but I guess we've never really crossed paths. I hope to get to know you better. Same to all the seniors here. Shiori is known in our department as the pretty girl. That guys rumor about from time to time. Some guys might get jealous of me for having this opportunity to get to know her better. I'm Saki Maruyama, a senior as well. I can't believe a guy's joining this lab. I chose this lab specifically because it was all girls. 
Oh, I'm glad I have you here though, Shiori. Um, I guess I'm sorry. I apologize without thinking after being berated by a beautiful woman. That could just as well be a model. Since then, the lab activities started up, and we studied together in the library and talked about our research. I collected some books that may be of use to us. Ah, uh, thanks. You really need a man to do the heavy lifting around here. Just carrying books is heavy lifting. And the books you brought actually look useful. Even though we're in the same grade, you're so much smarter than I am, Takayuki. I have no idea what books would be useful to our studies. You can work on that from now on. So don't worry, Shiori. He just wants to show off in front of some girls, I bet. No, I wasn't. I don't think he would have been able to bring these books with just a shallow thought of trying to impress us. You think so? Well, there are some set books that are of use, so it's not that special. He might be of use to us during our dirty work during our field trip. Oh, the field work. I'm really looking forward to it. We will be digging at actual archaeological sites, right? Yep, we do this every year at our lab. We go to the site and stay over multiple nights to dig. Me too. I joined this lab because I wanted to go on the field work. I see. So you were looking forward to an overnight trip with a bunch of girls? I didn't mean it like that. And it was the day of the field work. But it was already off to a rough start. Huh? Takayuki is in the same room as us? It looks like it was an error on the hotel's end. If it was an error, can they do anything about it? Of course I had asked at the front desk if there were any vacant rooms, but they said they were completely blocked. Well, it's not that big of an issue. It's hard to believe that a nerdy boy like him would do anything to us. <laughs> I appreciate your trust in me. Anyway, in return for their mistake, the hotel is treating us to a dinner. I I guess I'll do. The field work only starts tomorrow, so let's enjoy ourselves in the hot spring tonight. Oh, it looks like you can choose your yukata design here. It's all so cute. Hey, we're going to get ready to go to the hot spring, so look away. Y yes ma'am. It all happened to end up like this. But I have absolutely no intention of making a move on anyone here. I don't. But once I returned back to the room from my bath, I had to be in the same room as these girls in their yukatas after their bath too. I didn't know where to look. And I was trying hard not to look too awkward. Just to make my vision a little bluer, I took off my glasses. Once we were back from the dining hall, we came back to our room to see that futon had been laid out flushed right next to each other. So now we were fussing about who was going to sleep where. I... I can't sleep this close to Takayuki. Oh, well then I don't mind sleeping next to him. Oh, it's not that. It's not that I don't want to, but... I mean, does it really matter who sleeps where in this situation? How about we just have him pull his food over to the corner of the room? Um, I really don't mind sleeping in the corner, so don't mind me. I feel bad for shooing you away to a cold part of the room, so don't worry and sleep over here. Well, but Saki doesn't seem to be comfortable with that. Why are you making me out to be the bad guy? Do as you wish. It's not like I hate you or anything. Well then, I'll sleep next to Takayuki, right? Huh? Oh, you took the spot next to him. Mm -hmm. Did you say something, Yuka? N no, nothing. Uh, I mean, you look totally different without your glasses, Takayuki. You look kind of cool. You could start wearing contacts regularly. I've secretly known that you were cool from the beginning. Hmm, I really don't mind sleeping in the corner, though. And this is how I ended up spending a sleepless night. Lying there near three beautiful girls, the archaeological fieldwork began the next day. It is normal to not find anything of significance in archaeological digs like this. Especially in a site like this where they allow just us students to dig. Most of the research has already been completed. But this day, a miracle happened. I need to confirm with the teachers, but... I feel like this artifact might be an incredible find. Yes, not only is it preserved well, but I don't think anyone has seen artifacts with this type of design around here. We might have hit the jackpot. We rushed to contact the research lab. The assistant professor came running over upon hearing the news. This is an amazing find. Yuka, Saki, Shiori, good work. You are the students I had seen potential in. You are set to continue your fieldwork for another few days, right? You can continue on with it. Meanwhile, I'll take this back to the lab and look into it further. 
Thank you. Oh, what if this ends up being one of the binds that ends up on textbooks? That would be like a dream. We were all so worked up and happy. But all that changed the next day. We saw in the news that our findings had been taken credit by the assistant professor. We cut our trip short. And we all went in to file a complaint with the assistant professor. That's so cruel. You know that we had found and booked the site ourselves. She's right. You had nothing to do with this project. Calm down. The student's work is that of the labs. Thus, making it mine. So don't make such a fuss about it. Uh, well... I can try to get your names mentioned in the report, just a tiny bit. If you are care to join me for a meal, if you know what I mean. Oh, and I don't need any guys. I haven't included you in the numbers anyway. You, you can't do this. I'll tell on you to the school. Are you sure you want to do that? Your graduation is up to me, you know? No. All right, end of conversation. We are still only juniors, but I feel really bad for the seniors. Um, everyone? If it's alright, can I take over this issue? I promise I won't do you any harm. A few days later, I had done all of the preparations and went set to meet the assistant professor again. Of course, with everyone from the lab with me. Are you sure you have no intention of rightfully giving us the credit for our find? Like I said, if you can show me how serious you are, I can slightly mention some of the girl's name, but the credit is mine. I don't want to resort to threatening you back, but you'll be in a tight situation if you don't accept the truth. Huh? I have reviewed your thesis. For example, this one. You have taken credit for students' findings, just like you did this time. This one? You went as far as to rebury to dig it up again yourself, didn't you? This is fabrication. There are many other similar crimes you've committed. You mention all this as if it is facts, but you have no evidence. Who would the public believe, a student like you or a teacher like me? They'll believe me. I've done all of these reviews with the professor of this lab. Huh? Why would the professor do anything like that? He's busy teaching at a different school. He shouldn't have any time to do anything for this lab. To tell you the truth, the professor of this lab is my uncle. I have known him ever since I was little, and we were still very close. That's why you made it into this lab, even though I didn't approve you. The professor had been suspicious of your research lab from a while ago, and I was sent into this lab to see you work from a student's perspective as well. It was easy to find all your wrongdoings. I have all of your inappropriate speech recorded from the other day as well. No! Can't you persuade him that it was all just a misunderstanding? I promise to make it up to you. Unfortunately, I can't have incorrect research findings left unrevised. You should know that if you have worked up to be an assistant professor, right? Drats. So you'll admit that these findings are not yours, but ours. Yeah, I suppose I have to. With that in mind, I still can't overlook the forgery of your past research, so the professors are already looking into this matter. I just thought you should know. And that's how the assistant professor had been let go of his position due to his many wrongdoings from the past. His trust has been completely lost, so I'm sure he won't be able to work in this field anymore. Now it's time for field work again. Let's all hope this time it will be without any issues. The assistant professor isn't around anymore, so we should be fine. Um, the hotel had failed to separate our rooms again. <laughs> That's on purpose. Huh? After that incident, I fell for you, Takayuki. You were so cool. I felt like you deserve some credit for that too. So I guess it's good for us to get to know each other a bit better by staying in the room. Hey you two, I've liked Takayuki way before any of... Do you mind if I sleep next to you again? It's my turn! There's two people that can sleep next to Takayuki, so I guess one of us is getting left out. We have a few nights here, so do you want to take turns? Don't go on with this conversation without me. The assistant professor that recruits only girls is gone, so I hope we can get a decent amount of guys to join us next year.